Yeah, as, as funny as it would be to have one episode for each chapter, obviously the chapters are going to get harder and longer phrasing. It would quickly get unmanaged. Nope, I've ruined it. Forget the sentence, move on. Alright then. Uh, time sensitives. Important to take care of those. Better how does compliments? Well, look who's here. I am Matsuri and Fujimaru. You guys seem to be quite the talk of the town these days. The wonder-working rookies of Squad 5, Saiyan Suzunami's secret weapons, his twin geniuses! I'm guessing that you're the one who's been doing all the talking. What? You? Me? And you've probably been having way too much fun with it. <laughs> well, all joking aside, Yoruichi was certainly singing your praises. Lady Yoruichi? Lady Yoruichi? She says you show a lot of promise. She said that with a great big smile on her face, no less. Lady Yoruichi said that? About us? <laughs> wow, now that's something, isn't it, Fujimaru? Yeah, that's great. Is it my imagination, or was your reaction to my compliment a little bit underwhelmed? <laughs> um... Mm, well, you see, Urahara, it's because you're not a beautiful young woman, so... Your compliments are just worthless. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too easy going. At least he knows himself well. But Yoruichi's pretty easy going in her own way too. She'll help herself to other people's food, for example. And she's good at blowing off work without getting caught. And she doesn't like wearing clothes, so she's always tooling around at home in her birthday suit. <coughs> <coughs> Lady Yoruichi! L Lady Yoruichi! Running off at the mouth again, Captain Urahara. I was... Ah. Uh... As for your pronouncements concerning my personal information, I'd like to have a word with you in the interrogation room, if I may. Uh, seriously? Oh, most definitely. Uh-oh. Gossiping is the root of all evil. You two would do well to keep that in mind. She's with the Punishment Force. She is the Punishment Force! <laughs> it's one of my favorite lines Ow. in this whole darn hey, hey, game. <laughs> Just for that one word that's out of sync. Single movements. So it's gonna have to be this one. Is it in your reach? Lady Yorichi! Ah, it's you two! How's it going? Fine, thanks. What brings you here? Well, we were just wondering how you were healing from your injuries. Come to visit the sickly, eh? As you can see, I'm good as new. Oh good, that's a relief. Thoughtful visits like this remind me of Saigon. I guess blood will tell. What do you mean? Kyusuke told me about you two. You're Saigon Suzunami's secret children, aren't you? What? What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I only believe about half of what that guy tells me anyway. Besides, there's no way anyone with half a brain would believe Lord Saigon had children in secret. That's right, Lord Saigon is not that type of person at all. Gah, that Captain Orohara. But Saigon has definitely been a popular one among the female Soul Reapers. So I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't one or two stories floating around. But there's no truth to them, is there? I doubt it. Saigon has never shown any interest in women other than caring for his sister. <sighs> most women can pick that up, so I think most never bothered to pursue anything with him. You know all about everything, don't you, Lady Yoruichi? The Punishment Force is, after all, an intelligence agency that keeps tabs on all the Soul Reapers. Ninja CIA! Is that the right one? I... 
I don't know. Initialisms. Central intelligence. Yeah, I think that's the right one. I hear about people's work and their personal lives. Do you think you know everything about everyone, inside and out? Pretty much. I know, say, how many of Captain Otohara's inventions have failed. And I know all about the clever ways people try to explain away misappropriated funds. Wow, that's scary. I don't think you two have anything to worry about. Just keep on the up and up. Will do, will do. Take this as a thank you for your help the other day. Scarves. What is it? It's a fairly, it's fairly sturdy, so you can use it to keep warm or to protect your neck. Use it in good health. Thank you very much. We appreciate it, Lady Yoruichi. That's a three one, so Kanoka's encouragement. All right, everyone, let's eat. Whoa, what a feast! I heard about your recent heroism protecting the daughter of the Shihoan family. Well done. Huh? How did you know? Who told you? Mr. Urahara did. Oh. Oh. Is something the matter? Well, we hardly helped at all. To be of any help is laudable, you know. I'm so delighted I'm beside myself. We simply must celebrate. <sighs> I shall go and attend to my needy papa once more. She seems to be more into it than we are. Well, who cares? As long as she's happy. Lovely. Seconds, anyone? No thanks, I'm stuffed. I think I ate too much already. Is that so? This reminds me of the time we celebrated Saigon's first victory much like this. Back in Lord Saigon's youth? He had just become a Soul Reaper. In his earnestness, he made more than his share of mistakes. He just couldn't seem to get things quite right. You're talking about our Lord Saigon, right? A serious and stubborn. He had a hard time fitting in with the others. It's hard to imagine Lord Saigon like that. So, when he met with his first great success, we celebrated. I'll never forget the expression on his face, as if a great weight had been lifted from his shoulders. Listening to that story, I realize how different our reactions were from his. Maybe we should have felt more moved. Well, there's no need for second guessing yourself. You reacted in a way that is true to who you are. Yeah, you're right. On the other hand, now I'm more afraid of making a big mistake. Then we'll just have to have a, such a pity party if you do. I'll prepare some food that will cheer you up. What would you like? Uh, I think I'll just concentrate on not messing up. I'd hate to disappoint you by failing to fail. <laughs> Trust. Matsuri, are you here? Lord Saigon? What can I do for you? Oh, good. You're here too, Fujimaru. I want to talk to both of you. Talk about what? About rescuing Commander Shihoan the other day. You did a fine job. Oh, uh, thanks. When someone goes to the trouble of complimenting you, I suggest you reply with a little more enthusiasm. But we don't feel like we contributed very much. On top of that, we should have reported to you first and received official orders. But we left Soifon on her own and rushed off. That would usually earn us a punishment, right? What matters is that you took action, aware of the consequences and willing to accept them. Laws are made to be obeyed, but there's no guarantee that all will go well if they are. In that situation, we did feel like immediate action was required. Soifan thought so too. What we are protecting is not the law, but something far more important. You knew that in your hearts. But I thought that Squad 5 takes rules and regulations very seriously. 
Respecting the law is a given. However, I want the members of Squad 5 to be prepared to break the rules when necessary. <laughs> that is my hope. I know you won't let me down. We won't. Excellent example of neutral good. <laughs> Let's see. This small will give me stat upgrade. This small will give me item. Uh, it might be worth it to use one of the bigger ones. As much as I adore Soyfun. Toshiro we're up to. Do you want to go see them? Yeah, let's. Hey, it's Matsuri and Fujimaru. We just thought we'd stop by. You lucked out. We're just about to eat. You'll stay and eat with us, won't you? Are you sure we're not imposing? Sure, I'm sure. We still owe you from last time. It's delicious! It's delicious! Did it hit the spot? How did you make the omelette? I've never had one so light and fluffy before! It's one of my specialities. Little Shira loves it, so I make it all the time. It's one of the few things she can do right. But it's really hard to get it this perfect. Yeah, I guess. Oh, oh my heart. My dear heart. My little sister poked her head into my room, and when I, when I gently informed her that I was recording, her face absolutely lit up, and, and she said to me, if you're recording, does that mean you're a YouTuber? And th there was just so much awe in her voice, and I, and I realized abruptly that in her eyes I have just spontaneously revealed that I'm a celebrity. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, so I gave her directions to my YouTube channel and she's going to watch me and that's so sweet to think about. And eventually she's going to get here and hear about this and possibly feel embarrassed. I don't know yet. She'll tell me. <laughs> Hello, little sister. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it all. <laughs> oh. So warm. So warm inside. <clears throat> hey, Momo, how come there isn't any grated daikon? Oh, I forgot to buy it. Again? I'm gonna start calling you Nomo, because we're always running out of stuff you forgot to buy. Sorry, I'll make sure I get some next time. Are you a big fan of grated daikon, Toshiro? Yeah, it's the best. You go for the old school flavor, don't you? It's good, that's all I care about. The only thing little Shiro will give me a pat on the back for is my omelettes. Your watermelon's good too. All you do is cut it, right? Are you two really brother and sister? You can tell by looking at him, can't you? But it's so unusual. You two look like siblings too. You think so? You do seem like brother and sister. You seem really close, like a family. Is that right? For real, huh? You're lucky you have such a nice sister. Mine's kind of... Kind of what? Being strict is a way to show your love. Don't you agree, little Shiro? How should I know? But never mind that. How about you quit calling me little Shiro? But Momo calls you that. She shouldn't either. But Nomo forgets that too. <laughs> She does, doesn't she? 
Matsuri's HP went up. Fujimaru's HP went up. The omelette is just that good, it's made them permanently healthier. Ow! Come on! Is that all you got? Silently contemplating in a room. Urahara, Yoroichi, Unahana, Suzunami. Kiroku, Ukutake, and Yamamoto. <sighs> it looks like this is everyone that can join us at the moment. Let's begin the meeting. Yoruichi Shihon, if you could please explain to everyone. I don't think I can get my voice nearly deep enough to do old man Yama justice. Yes, sir. Judging by the information we gained from our encounter with the Hollow Ambush unit the other day, we feel it is likely they will attack the Soul Society again. Another attack? So soon? I wonder what's behind the strange behavior of these Hollows lately. Shihoen, Suzunami, let me ask you one more time. You say you definitely heard the Hollows mention Aturo and Arankar. That's right, sir. As plain as day, sir. Aturo. Arankar. What's that? Aturo is the name of an enemy who once invaded the Soul Society long ago. Invaded? So this Aturo is a hollow? Not exactly. Aturo is an Arankar. An Arankar is a hollow that has gained the powers of a Soul Reaper. Arankars are intelligent and have spiritual power beyond even the level of captains. Beyond captains? Ah, oh, I see. So this Arturo fellow is the hollows under his command, is that it? Urahara holds his tongue. When Arturo attacked long ago, the Thirteen Court Guard squads had him on the verge of death, but he got away. And they were never able to finish him off, sir. I'm afraid not. By the time Arturo escaped, half the thirteen court guard squads had been wiped out. What? You mean they lost half of their manpower? That's right. And what's worse, Arturo wasn't even fully transformed at the time. What? If he were to invade again now in peak form... <sighs> Quietly, to himself. It won't be just half of our numbers that'll be wiped out. But to the others, he just leaves that unsaid, hanging in the air ominously. <sighs> Irahara still hasn't reacted. Just, like, deliberate poker face gone a little bit too neutral, I guess. Irahara. Yeah, and then he, like, adjusts to look just as shocked and worried as everyone else. Kiske? <laughs> Arturo the Arankar, huh? What do you make of it all? We'll defeat any and all enemies that come our way. That's all there is to it. That's the right attitude. But it doesn't sound like an enemy who can be defeated with attitude alone. Hmm. Now how to tell our squads this news? What do you think, Captain Arahara? Me? Oh, well. I'm sure the higher-ups will figure out what to do. When you give laid-back answers like that, it usually means you're preoccupied with something. What are you thinking about? What I'm having for dinner! Chapter 06, Soul Reaper Eater What a beautiful morning! Yes, indeed. I'm so sleepy. 
Pull yourself together, sleepyhead. Tell him, Lord Saigon. Lord Saigon? Fujimaru. Matsuri. Yes? Uh-huh. If anything ever happens to me, I want you to take care of Kanoka. What? What? Um, was that some kind of a joke or something? Whew, you knocked all the sleep out of my head with that one. Oh, yeah. It was just a joke. Forget it. I knew you had to be kidding. I can't even imagine anything happening to you, Lord Zagan. But just remember, if anything like that does happen, you two are the only ones who can look out for her. You got that? But it's not going to happen. It can't. Exactly. You'll be fine, dubiously canon character that doesn't appear in the anime or manga that this game is based on. I'm sure you'll make it fine through. <laughs> it's been a while since I went out on patrol with you two. That's true. I guess that means the captain's starting to place more trust in you. We've still got a long, long way to go. We can't even release our Zanpakuto yet. Can you tell us, Kayan? What do we have to do to release our Zanpakuto? Uh, what do you have to do? It's all about putting in the effort, of course. But we don't know what kind of effort to put in. Well, you both heard your Zanpakuto's voice, right? We did, but we didn't understand what it meant. It said something like, discard them. I'm sorry. I don't recall this scene happening. Wait a second. What? My vague memories did kind of make me think that something Zanbakuto related was meant to happen in that previous mission. But I can't imagine what event flag I failed to trigger. Huh. I'll continue for now. It said something like, discard that which you do not need and find that which is necessary. And it told us, put your minds together and look forward. But we have no idea how we're supposed to do that. Are you sure you two aren't secretly relieved somewhere in your hearts? Relieved? Huh? Like, maybe you think, I'm weak, so somebody else, somebody strong, will fight for me. Are you sure you don't have that kind of overdependence in your hearts somewhere? Overdependence, huh? Mm. Listen, a Zanbakuto is the mind, the strength of a Soul Reaper. And what do you suppose a Soul Reaper needs to release its full potential? Well, uh. Determination! Fierce, burning determination. 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 I think that's what your Zanpakuto is waiting to see. Determination, huh? Alright! Let's go! Ho oh boy! Every single one of these is now time-dependent. This might be where I start cheating to make sure I can do all the things that I can manage to do. Alrighty then. Can't be a three one. But a hot invention. Are you here, Captain Urahara? I sure am. Nice of you to stop by. We came to check out your latest invention. A rare treat for me. Most people tend to stay far away from the Department of Research and Development. They say it's full of weirdos and oddballs. Is that right? 
how are the healing supplies you were developing coming along? I've had to revise my plans. It takes time to develop medicine, so I've turned my attention to nutrition tablets. Nutrition tablets? That is to say, they're not intended to heal the wounded. They are designed to keep up the strength of those who work in the med crews. Working in the med crew must be a tough job. In appreciation of their hard work, I'm gonna put a skull mark on the product. I thought the sight of it might boost their spirits. What do you think? It'll be fun, won't it? I don't see what's supposed to be fun about a skull. I have several other projects in development. A new Geekon gun, for instance. Geekon gun? When visiting the human world, Soul Reapers use a physical body called a Gigai. A Geekon gun is the artificial soul that inhabits the body when the Soul Reaper's soul leaves it. It contains a simulated personality that controls the Gigai until the Soul Reaper returns. So... Gikongan are only used in the human world. Usually, yes. But I've got one here that I've been testing. Come on out, Chappie. Chappie? Pleased to meet you, Hop! Hop? Hop! This is my prototype, Chappie the Rabbit. Isn't she sweet? She's gonna be a big hit with the female Soul Reapers. Without a doubt, that's right! Hop! Weirdos and oddballs, huh? goal is right there. And then, yeah, new event panels. Oh my goodness. That's why there are the discounts, I suppose. Are you serious about that? Yes, I'm serious. Captain Okatake and Kayan. I wonder what they're talking about. Hey, Kayan! Hi, guys. The captain and I, we're just having a little chat. What? You want to take Kayan to Squad 13? That's what I'm hoping. It's hard to find people as capable as Kayan. We'll bring him in as a lieutenant's aide and then groom him to be a lieutenant. I'm flattered, but you're overestimating my abilities. Your abilities and personality already qualify you as an aide. All you lack is experience, and that you can acquire on the job. That's quite a recommendation. You may not stand out in Squad 5 with Eisen around, but I know talent when I see it, and I need someone around I can entrust the squad to. My illness flares up quite often. I need someone reliable to take care of the squad. I hope you'll think it over, Kayan. I'm grateful for the offer, but I have no desire to leave Squad 5 right now. Kayan? I want to stay at least long enough to repay the kindness shown to me by Captain Suzunami and the whole squad. Not to mention a few new recruits who are far too dangerous to unleash without my guidance. I see. That's too bad. But hearing your answer, I'm even more sure that I'm right. I could definitely use you over in Squad 13. Kyan is pretty amazing, isn't he? He'll probably make lieutenant before we know it. I'm glad for him, but... Sad for us. Oh! I don't have anything that's three anymore. Which of these were two before the... Oh no. <laughs> I'll just go through them in order since I've already resolved to cheat. The source of happiness. Try some of these delicious apples someone brought over. Eating apples always brings back memories for me. That's right. You've both loved apples ever since you were little. Shinigami, do love apples. Mm. Um, Lady Kanoka, do you ever regret taking us in? Oh my goodness, 
Where did that come from all of a sudden? I was just thinking about it. I mean, it's not as if we're really needed in the family. It's only now that we've become soul reapers that we make any money, but up until now we've just been a burden on you. I see. <laughs> Lady Kanoka? Lady Kanoka? <laughs> I'm sorry. The look on your face, Matsuri, was adorable. Adorable? But I was being serious. That's why it was so cute. You two still have a lot to learn. <laughs> a lot to learn, huh? I'm not teasing you. Then why are you laughing so hard? I'll have you know that laughter is a very wonderful thing. Imagine for a moment what it would be like if you could never laugh. It'd be miserable to go on day to day without ever laughing. I've had that experience before. Seemingly endless days with no laughter. Really? Saigon and I lost our parents when we were still young. Since then, the Suzunami family has just been the two of us. All that time, just you two. Saigon was busy, first at the academy, and then with the 13 court guard squads. I stayed at home alone the whole time. As Saigon has moved up in the world, he's come home less often, leaving me by myself. Then one day, the two of you came into our lives. And the rest is history. The only way you would cause me trouble or heartache would be if you were to disappear from my life. All I ask is that you don't. We won't. No, ma'am. Ah, I have tiny tears Ow. in my eyes from hey, reading that what's out. Up? Thanks for the treatment. Let's go see Captain Unahara and thank her for fixing us up. Sounds good. Why, hello, Matsuri and Fujimaru. We really appreciated your help the other day. We came by to say our thanks in person. That's very thoughtful of you, but you needn't have gone to so much trouble. Squad 4 is a relief squad. Our medical crew is just doing its job. Especially to have you, Captain Onohana, work on us. Oh, is that so? Ah, where are my manners? Please, come in and have some tea. Thank you. We'd be delighted. You fought hard and showed yourselves in fine form in the recent battle. Not really. We relied too heavily on our superiors. I, I think this scene is unlocked after the initial fight at the gate, um, where I brought along Ukatake and Kiraku in a non-canon assistant way. Um, but they've definitely written it, at least so far, to be very applicable to the Yorichi rescue as well. And I think that's delightful. Just, everything's just the other day. <laughs> just previously. Not this day. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. One must be willing to depend on others as the situations demand it. But we were painfully aware of our own lack of power. There's no need to set your expectations so high when you're just starting out. These things must be done step by step. Over time, your perseverance will culminate in true strength. True strength? Yes. True strength is gained only with an acknowledgement of one's own weakness. Sadly, there is no scarcity of souls who remain unaware of it. Hey, Squad 4, hurry up with the bathroom cleaning, will ya? Sorry about that, we've been busy with an urgent case! Urgent case. Only the weak get hurt. Leave them be. How could- 
Shut up and clean the can before I make you an urgent case! Please keep your voice down while you're in the relief station. Uh, Captain Inohana. I overheard your discussion. Should you ever come in here seriously injured, we will make a point of cleaning the bathroom before attending to your wounds. You, you wouldn't just let me die, would you? Uh, n n no, see, what I meant was please clean the bathroom after you have taken care of all the injured. I'm glad we're in agreement. She had a smile on her face that whole time. Very impressive! She's going all pink bubbly again! <laughs> Fujimaru is quaking in his sandals! And <laughs> Matsuri is emitting pink bubbles of adoration! certain that that frog in the backyard is being picked up through the microphone. <laughs> Wanna go see how Captain Okutaki is feeling? That's a good idea. Let's go pay him a visit. Did somebody beat us to it? it looks like someone's at the door. Ah! Hey! Open up! I brought my good sake! Captain Kiroku! Hi, kids. Did you come to see me? I'm so touched. You're touched, all right. This is Squad 13. Never mind that. The fact is, you followed me here, didn't you? If there were a reward of some kind, we might follow you, but she's pushing her luck. Oh, what's all the clamor? Is there? Oh, we're terribly sorry. We're here to have ourselves a good time. Let's drink up. And Captain Kiroku is the only one drinking at the moment. <laughs> Thank you for directly stating that to the audience, Fujimaru. You don't mind, Captain Okutake? That he's drinking while you're trying to rest? No, it's fine. Shinsui's been like this since our days at the academy. He shows up when he wants to, enjoys himself the way he wants to, and goes home when he feels like it. He's on his own timetable. So he's a cat, is what you're saying. Jushiro, you're the only one who lets me do that, you know. Well, you're good for a laugh, Shinsui. That's never a dull moment. Is the academy you mentioned the Soul Reaper General Academy? Yep, we were classmates there. You've been friends for a long time, then. What a coincidence that both of you end up as captains. I suppose from your perspective it might seem unlikely. Your personalities are totally different, yet you're such good friends. And that's precisely because we're dissimilar that we get along so well. And it's because we're so different that I've been able to forgive him for being such a ladies' man. You're quite the scoundrel yourself, aren't you, Captain Kiraku? But when it comes to fighting, there's no one more reliable. Right back at you, buddy. We may seem as different as mud and snow, but our vision is the same. We both strive for personal integrity. We've challenged and supported each other over the years so we can achieve this goal. That's a pretty impressive explanation. Oh, and by the way, I'm Snow. I'd have to go with Captain Okatake as Snow. <laughs> you should have quit while you were ahead. Oh, I have something that may be enlightening for you. I have it on my shelf. Here it is. A book? It's actually a journal we kept while we were in training. I thought you might like to borrow it. Are you sure you want to lend out something so valuable? Eh, it's not doing anyone any good just sitting on the shelf. Yeah, I'd be happy if you found it useful. Thank you very much! Thank you very much! Joshiro Okatake and Shunsui Kiroku's memo received. Th their shared college journal. Ow. Alright then. 
I'm gonna go figure out how these cheats work, because it's been a hot minute since I've done them. And we can go from event to event. Alright, easy peasy. I, I vaguely remember, way back when I got the cheats, that um, the instructions said you needed to save the game, exit to main menu, and then load the game. Um, but in actuality, all you have to do is open and then exit the save menu. And it sets your position to wherever you had the cheat code put you. Alright then, uh, Aizen's Private Life, I believe was the name of this event. Hmm? Hello, Lieutenant Aizen. Are you on your way home? No, I have a lieutenant's meeting. It'll be a while before I can go home. That's too bad. You never stop working, do you? No, I get to take a break occasionally. What do you like to do on your days off? Hmm. Well, I spend a lot of time reading at home. What kind of books? Let's see. Oh, wait. I'm going to be late for my meeting. Oh, sorry. I hate to leave, but I have to go. Maybe some other time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's off. I wonder what he does besides read. I did want to find out what a book lover like him likes to read. I wish we could help him get more time off. I know what you mean. It sounds like a rough life. stolen place until I remove it. It'll be fine. Hello! Hi, come on in. Did you bring me anything? We sure did. Say, I don't see Gein around. No, oh, it's nothing to be concerned about. He wanders off all the time. All the time? Yep. I have no idea where he is or what he's doing. And you're not worried? Worried? Why bother? It's not like it would make any difference if I did. Besides, he brings back food from wherever it is he goes. Rangiku, I brought you some grub. See what I mean? Wow. Wow. Thanks for the food! That was pretty good. I'll help you clean up. Thanks. Hey, Fujimaru, can we talk? Huh? What's up? Nice view, huh? It sure is. You can see the Serete from here. What's it like to live there? Are you interested in living there? Rangiku seems to be. I see. But who knows what'll happen once we get there. You mean if you become Soul Reapers? Yeah, maybe. Well, you can't know for sure what the future holds. But there is one thing I can tell you. Your life will surely change in ways that you never dreamed were possible. <laughs> You're more of a dreamer than you look. It happened to me when I went there, and I'm sure it'll happen to you. Is that right? And that game! He doesn't listen to a word anybody says! My brother's the same way. Why are guys like that? I know! We worry about him, and they couldn't care less. Ah! On the other hand, it is nice to have someone to worry about. That's how I look at it, anyway. I guess you're right. I would hate to be all alone. Oh, I almost forgot. I made this for you. You did? It's to thank you for the bento. It's not much, but I made one for each of you. Cords. Thanks, these are great. I'll have to rifle through my inventory at some point and see what oh. Oh, the keepsakes I'm carrying. <laughs> yep. Poor, poor little guy. He's running on a treadmill. Hey, hey, what's up? And now, if I just 
turn it back on. I wonder if that'll do it. So he finds anguish. Hello, Soifun. You were looking for us? I am. Would you accompany me, please? Sure. Are we going anywhere special? Yes, you could say that. Isn't this where we fought those hollows not too long ago? I was supposed to be Lady Yurichi's guard, but... Rather than protecting her, I was the reason she got hurt. I vowed to give my life in her service, and look at how horribly it ended. It wasn't your fault, Soifon. Lady Yurichi told me to forget about it, but I just can't. I can't forgive myself. Oh, Soifon. What should I do? I really wish I knew. How do you think Lady Yurichi felt when she defended you? I have no idea. Why would she save me, the one who was supposed to die for her? Lady Yurichi said it herself. What we're trying to defend here is too big for one person alone. The strong must be a shield for the weak, protecting them and giving them time to grow. Those were her exact words. Really? She's thinking of the future, looking at the big picture. I was so distracted by things around me that I couldn't see Lady Yurichi's heart. It seems to me the best way to respond to such a sentiment is to be the best that you can be. You're absolutely right. Instead of moping around, I should direct my energies into training and improving myself. You'll be a guard that Lady Yurichi can rely on with complete confidence. I'm so glad I was able to talk with both of you. Thank you. Oh, good. Our chat seems to have cheered her up. Affinity with Soifon went up. definitely be making uh making use of that blender. Hey hey, what's up? So if one is I think one of one of one of my favorite people to bring along on fights. Oh yeah. There is this minor graphical issue with the cheating that it will sort of sometimes duplicate these event panels. Uh, but it's fine in the end. It's just graphical. is approaching for once I've done all of the sillier ones. <laughs> mm, I must be going. Thank you. Captain Unahara, we rarely have the pleasure of your company here. Well, hello, Matsuri and Fujimaru. Did you have business here? I thought Captain Suzunami was out attending a meeting. Oh! Don't tell me you came to see Lady Kanoko. As a matter of fact, I did. I'm on my way home, thoroughly rejected, and utterly dejected. You're kidding, right? Yes, I'm kidding. What really brought you here, then? Nothing much to speak of! All right, then, never mind. Matsuri and Fujimaru? You're fond of Lady Kanoko, aren't you? What's gotten into you? Of course we're fond of her. Hmm... As I expected as much. What's going on? Just forget that I was here, and don't tell anyone. What are you talking about? I can't say. He bolted. Didn't he seem a little strange to you? Maybe she really did turn him down. No way, that can't be it. If not that... Then what's going on? Ah, 
logo once more. The poor boy doesn't have opposable thumbs and cannot access his delicious nibble noms on his own. <sighs> Speaking of which, if you hadn't had a delicious nibble nom recently, then I fully recommend that you do. Speaking of which... <laughs> Saigon, would you go buy us some rice crackers? Sure. Saigon, would you mind rubbing my shoulders? No problem. Saigon, I wrote Captain Unahanu a letter. Why don't I take it to her for you? Kanoko, do you have any other errands I can run for you? Let me see. Lady Kanoko? How come you only ask Lord Saigon to do things for you? What do you mean? You could ask us to run errands or take care of little things like that. That's alright. Saigon likes it when I ask him. He likes it? Why is that? He takes great satisfaction in being relied upon. I'm sure that's due in part to the fact that he was so weak as a child. Lord Saigon was? Weak? He always used to hide behind me when he was small. Yes, that was the man you now know as Captain. So you can see why he not only doesn't mind, but actually likes having people depend on him. I imagine he is unpleasantly reminded of the past if he is not relied upon. This little secret of his... We'll just keep it between us. I won't say anything. He'd probably get embarrassed. I trust you. I must confess I'd like him to depend on me more, though. You too, Lady Kanoka? Of course. I'm the big sister. That makes sense. But that's alright. You depend on me, don't you? We do, but we're hoping that you can depend on us, too. I'll consider it after you've been made captain. What? That could be a while. That reminds me. I want you to have this. What is it? A sash for a kimono? It's similar to the one I gave Saigon when he got his promotion. This may be a bit premature, but think of it as a symbol of my confidence in you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Two festive sashes received. I await the day you succeed, and I can depend wholly on you. Captain Urahara. He looks troubled. Captain Urahara? Oh, hello, Master in Fujimaru. Is something troubling you? I just presented a bunch of new research project proposals at a meeting, but every single one got shut down. I wonder what kind of crazy ideas he had this time. Stuff like this makes me sick of living in the Serate. It's tough here. How can you say that? There are lots of people who'd be happy to be in your shoes. How does someone like me get to be a captain anyway? What? Sure, there's a certain feeling of satisfaction being a captain, but... Part of me would rather be free to concentrate on my inventions. I guess the life of a captain isn't all perks. It might be nice to have a small shop and work at my own pace. Go into business for yourself, huh? If I do, I'll hire both of you as clerks. Us? Clerks? Us? Clerks! No good? We don't have any plans to quit our jobs as Soul Reapers. But I'm sure it'd be fun to work with you! Well, it's just a pipe dream. Fujimaru, you slacker. Ow! Hey, hey, what's up? Aizen's book. Because Matsuri really, really wants to know, I guess. Matsuri, have you got a minute? What is it, sir? Are you interested in history? He 
mystery? Oh no, he's the one who's initiating. We Soul Reapers don't know all there is to know about the history of the Soul Society. And that's because it has such a long history, and because most of us just don't study it enough. We're all so busy, there sure isn't much time for studying. I want you to learn as much as you can from that long history. Would you be interested in reading this book? What's it about? This is the most interesting history book I've read lately. I'd like to hear what your impression of it is. For me? The content may be difficult, but I think you'll get a lot out of it. Thank you very much! I'll get on it right away! I look forward to hearing what you think about it. Eisen's book received. Yes, being able to do all of the events is going to get very, very silly by the end game, and I relish in it. Next. A connection with Kanoka. Excuse me, is anybody home? Oh, hello, Captain Unahana. Is Kanoka in by any chance? She's out right now, but we expect her back shortly. Would you like to come inside and wait for her? Yes, thank you. I brought some tea. How kind of you. Please make yourself at home. You needn't rush off. Won't you stay and chat with me until Kanoka returns? Huh? Please, have a seat. Oh, yes, of course. You seem nervous. I am. We think so highly of you, it's hard to know what to say. But you don't feel nervous when you speak with Captain Suzunami or Kanoka, do you? Well, that's because they're family. Ah, yes, of course. And Kanoka is a special case, too. How do you mean? As eldest daughter of the Suzunami family, she is an aristocrat. In spite of her high social status, she is very unassuming and open in her dealings with people. That's true. Lady Kanoka has been like that ever since we met her. Warm and kind, always a smile on her face. She treats me the same way she treats you. That is why Kanoka is among my few close friends with whom I can speak with complete candor. Is that right? I trust one day you and I will be able to converse as freely. You think so? Yes. I'm sure of it. Even now, you seem more relaxed than before. You're right, I guess I am. Having lived with Kanoka, you've come to share a similar disposition. It's quite obvious to me. You think she and I are alike? Yes. A good heart nurtures a good heart. And she's definitely rubbed off on you. Affinity with an Ahana went up. How charming. Hey, hey, what's up? See? Just a visual thing. I haven't clicked on this event, so it's still here, but it knows that the event is complete, so I can't get another copy of the book. I believe that because it's time sensitive, it will be wiped away and made unavailable when I tick forward. So it's all good. Better each use request. Lady Yorichi, you sent for us? Oh, Matsuri and Fujimaru, thanks for coming. How can we be of help? I've got a big favor to ask you. What is it? It's concerning Soifon. You called, Lady Yurichi. Soifon! Soifon? Huh? Oh, it's you two. What do you want with Lady Yurichi? 
Siphon, these two are here at my request. They are? Oh, oh my apologies. All right, enough of that. I was just about to talk to them about you. <coughs> Please excuse, water break. I'm talking unendingly for an hour, yes. Order is required. Also an hour already, huh? About me? Okay, here's the thing, Matsuri and Fujimaru. I would like you to consider being friends with Soifon. Friend? Friends. L Lady Yurichi, what's all this about? I don't need any. Give it a chance. Soifon, you've already asked him for advice, haven't you? Well, how did you know? I have my ways. Nothing gets by you. I'm so sorry. What are you apologizing for? It's good to have people to talk things over with. Working for the Punishment Force isn't easy. You have to keep your feelings in check in this job. That's why you need friends to confide in, otherwise you may lose touch with your feelings. But, but... Even I need friends, you know? Of course, if neither side agrees, I won't force you. But as far as I can tell, you don't have a single close friend, Soifon. You've been watching me. You have a tendency to brood, so I worry about you. I had no idea. Me neither. Okay then, I'm going to disappear and leave you to yourselves. Play nice now! Wait, Lady Yurichi! She's gone. But she's probably watching us from a distance. Uh, so, what do we do now? I don't have a choice. If I were to refuse, it'd be like a slap in the face to Lady Yurichi. I thought you might say that, and I'll bet she's already taken that into account, too. Uh -oh. You've got to say it and mean it! Lady Yurichi! We're all ears, we're all ears! Uh... But be my friend! If you don't, I'll arrest you! <laughs> she took off! Gotta love her. Yeah. Affinity with Siphon went up. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oops. Hey, hey, what's up? Oh, boy. My word. Yep, he copies them. It's interesting. Sorry for my beloved. Hi, Soifan. Are you on a break? You too. Don't be so surprised. Yeah, we're supposed to be friends, aren't we? Friends? To be honest, I don't really know what it means to be friends. Say what? The Fon family has been in the assassination and punishment business for generations. Ever since I can remember, my whole life's been dedicated to the punishment force. So I never learned what it means to be a friend. Tell me, what does it mean? Uh, being a friend is... Uh, good question. Yeah, it's hard to put into words. Lady Yurichi didn't give us an easy assignment, did she? Maybe we're analyzing it too much. Let's try doing something together and see what happens. I know. What do you like to do for fun, Soifan? Training. I derive enjoyment from improving myself. Then let's train together. Hmm. I imagine agents and soul reapers train differently, but if you'd like to try my usual regimen... Bring it on! Sure thing! <sighs> I'm wiped out! Do you train like this every day, Soifan? 
what's with you, wimps? We were just getting started. Secret agents must get a lot more exercise. It's over. Finally. Was it really that rough? We're not used to all the moves and methods of your training, so it did seem kind of tough. Oh, right. Then I imagine that Soul Reaper training would be quite grueling for me. The only contact I've had with Soul Reapers has been either observing or arresting them. But you've got me interested. Being friends with them doesn't seem like such a bad idea now. That wasn't exactly what we were going for, but it'll do. That's good enough for me. I have a feeling we'll all learn some things from this experience. Matsuri's evasion went up. Fujimaru's evasion went up. Very useful skill. Increase to have. Ow. I think I'd remember. Ooh. Hey, hey, what's up? Do I just have to like flick it on in the mouth? I don't know. Maybe for safety's sake, it's better to keep it on until I've visually confirmed it. Alright then, that decides it. I'll leave the rest to you, Kisuke. I'll take care of it. See you later. Lady Yoroichi! How are you? Hi, Matsuri and Fujimaru. What were you talking to Captain Urahara about, if you don't mind my asking? I wanted him to make something for me, so we were just having a little consultation. Are you and Captain Udahara good friends? I noticed you call him Kisuke. That's right, isn't it? We've been friends since we were kids. We used to raise hell together in the old days and got in a lot of trouble. I never would have expected you to be troublemakers. Kisuke's brand of trouble was always... interesting. And he'd always seemed to find a way to drag me along for the ride. What if you got caught? Kisuke was a genius at doing bad things well. Even now, that talent is alive and kicking. Which reminds me, I am sorry about the other day. What do you mean? About Soifon. You're not upset that I was being so pushy, are you? It's not like that. In fact, we're actually grateful. That Soifon has been in a pretty good mood lately. I think my plan did the trick. Glad to hear it. You guys will probably all wind up being the best of friends. Like Kisuke and me. Hang out with Soifon again, okay? Sure thing! Of course! Affinity with Yorichi went up. Ow. Come on! Is that I'm you got? sorry. Beg pardon. Crisis averted. <laughs> uh, entering into event titled Crisis Approaching. We've exchanged one crisis for another. Lieutenant Eisen. Reporting as ordered, sir. Ah, good. Have a seat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So... What do you make of recent developments around here? There's definitely trouble in the air. A general sense of uneasiness. Mm -hmm. That's my impression too. And Captain Suzunami's been making strange jokes. He must be tired. Captain Suzunami making jokes. Like asking us to take care of Lady Kanoka if something ever happens to him. The captain said that. It's not like him to say something like that. It's unlikely anything would happen to him before us. Hmm. Lieutenant Eisen? I wouldn't worry about it. It was probably just a bad joke. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Lieutenant seem kind of preoccupied. Yeah, sort of. I just hope everything's okay. Oh! Hey, hey, what's up? Come on! Is that all you got? And 
there you have it. Once you run out of events to do, it also terminates free time, so you can't get stuck. Despite the cheating, it's actually fairly solid. Um, and I think that's a good place to call it. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>